Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Today we're going to talk about just how stupid gun grabbers are because they say some of the damnedest things. And then I'm going to touch base on yesterday's, last night's video because some people were confused about it. Before I jump into that, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video. It's the United States Concealed Carry Association. The USCCA has a ton of training and education. And when you become a member, you get that self-defense liability insurance, which can only help you. God forbid you need to make that decision to defend yourself or others. And don't forget that all new members this month get free gifts. All new members get this Otis cleaning kit. And all new members of the Platinum and Elite levels get this survival kit. But USCCA is going to throw in one extra gift if you join between December 26th of 2022 and the end of the year, December 31st, 2022. You will also get this next belt thrown in for free as well. So check them out, uscca.com slash gng. Not only do you help yourself, you also help out the channel. All right, last night I did the video that said, good news, all federal gun control bills are dead. And quite a few people said, wait a second, Jared, what about all of that stuff in the omnibus bill, the spending bill? Well, that's already passed. Went through both houses, that's passed, that's done. What I specifically meant, and I said in the video, is that anything that's pending that passed one chamber and, didn't, and was still pending in the other, like HR8, the universal background checks, 1808, the assault weapon ban, that stuff's dead. What passed in the, uh, the, the bill, the spending bill passed, unfortunately, but for the rest of the year, there's no more session for uh, the House or the Senate. Everything else that was pending is dead. That's what I meant on that. So let's jump into today's video. And I, I talked about Illinois and their assault weapon ban bill that was submitted. That's H.R. 5855, 5855. And Governor J.B. Pritzker announced this uh, assault weapon ban bill and magazine ban bill uh, like hours after he won re-election. And he said that there is now the, the makeup in Illinois to get this passed. And I believe him. I do believe him. Well, yesterday or the day before, everything kind of blends together here. Uh, but within the last two days, one of the uh, backers of this bill, one of the sponsors uh, in Illinois, said some pretty stupid stuff that proves, because some people don't believe when you say stuff, they need proof. It proves that it's not about the guns. It's not about the safety of individuals. It's about control. This guy's name is LaShawn Ford, and he is a state representative in the Chicago area, and of course, he's a Democrat. Shocker. He did an interview the other day, and some of the things that he said uh, made me, I, I was saying, can they, can they really be that out of touch with legislation that they're backing? He's a sponsor of the bill. The answer is yes. For instance, he was asked about uh, what he thought about passing, a, or hopefully passing a bill, and they're in, not for us, they want to pass this bill that will make law-abiding gun owners, constitutional following Americans, felons overnight. And he didn't know that that's what it would do. He was saying, he said something, and I'm paraphrasing, the reason I go to the, all these town halls is because I want to learn more about people that this will affect. And now he says that he didn't want to add more felons to the rosters uh, in Illinois, and that that would be a bad look, so he was going to hope to find a balance uh, as they go forward with this bill. So this bumbling buffoon idiot didn't even know that just banning things, let's just ban it. It's constitutionally uh, protected, ban it. People have a right to it, ban it because we're the kings. He didn't know that that would create felons overnight because people have those items and they have for hundreds of years. Idiot. But it gets, it gets better for us. It gets worse for him because he looks really bad. The host then asked him like, hey, listen, why do law-abiding folks have to pay for what psychopaths do? For instance, in the Aurora shooting, in the Highland Park shooting, uh, in Highland Park and, and Aurora, those were failures of police because one of the people had an FOID card, the Firearms Owner's Identification Card in Illinois, that wasn't valid anymore. Yet he still had items that, he, according to law, and I don't back this law, but according to their stupid law, he shouldn't have had it. So the police, in theory, we're supposed to do something and they didn't and people died. And then on uh, the other one um, was the their clear and present danger report, which is a red flag law. Well, this person had a red flag from the local police department, yet nobody followed up on it. And he was then uh, allowed to continue on life. And then people got hurt and died because of failures of police to carry out the laws that these people keep instituting. So he was trying to say like, listen, laws aren't gonna protect people. 
But what did this LaShawn dude say? He said, well, you know, that's why we're gonna try to change the laws to take, take the pressure off the police because they have to do so much. <laughs> so it, were, it was proved that the cops dropped the ball with all this crazy stuff he and his cronies pass. But, oh wait, they can't enforce this stuff. Uh, that's not really a real reality. So we have to do something else. We just have to do something. But then there was the third one, <laughs> and this one was the best. Uh, the host asked about uh, banning magazines, commonly owned items, which Heller said you can't do. Uh, magazines that own more than 10 rounds. And this is, he said, probably the best quote of 2022. Where I know there were a lot of good ones, but this one's a good one. I'm gonna let you hear it in his own voice. Here it goes. What we have to do is make sure that we do a grandfather in. We ban the sale of these, sell no more, and people must register their um, guns that they have already. You know, once you run out of the um, ammunition from the magazine, you cannot buy any more for that style, but you still have your gun. I think that we have to recognize that we should put people over guns and that um, having a bill like 5855 passed, if we need to make tweets, it will not hurt anyone's ability to own guns. So once, <laughs> once you run out of ammo in that magazine, you can no longer buy any more for that style. <laughs> they don't know anything. It's just, hey, we got to do something. Let's ban that stuff. Oh, wait, we're going to look like idiots, but let's just ban it anyway. We don't know anything of what we're talking about. Let's just, just with a stroke of a pen, done. These people are so stupid. But I did this video not only to make you laugh and realize how dumb LaShawn and his cronies are, but I also did it to prove a point, guys and gals. It's not about safety. They care not about the, uh, the one thing that they take an oath to protect, and that is their state and federal constitution. They don't care about you. They don't care about your rights. What they care about is their power. And they will do anything they can to take the power from we the people, who has all the power, and give it to the government so that they can have ultimate control. And with that, I want to impose upon you how important it is for you to realize that you are your own first responder. There is not a person with a badge and a gun in the world that can guarantee they will be there for you when you need them the most. And that's talking from, and that's talk from somebody who's done this for two decades plus. You are your own first responder. Now, I know not everybody will, uh, will um, choose to utilize their Second Amendment, and that's fine. But for those who choose not to utilize it, I wanna make sure you understand me crystal clear. You don't have the right to tell me that I can't have that right nor anybody else who chooses to exercise their Second Amendment. Just like we can't tell you Karens and Kens that you can't talk or you can't do some stupid stuff, you don't have the right to take away ours. And we will never let you do it. And we will be here standing in the gap to stop you every step of the way. Guys and gals, if you enjoyed this little laugh and the seriousness of this video, please subscribe to Guns and Gadgets down below. You will get Second Amendment news every single day on this channel, often multiple times a day. And if you've fallen behind, you might want to just take a peek at some of the things that have come out on the channel, because it will catch you up. Absolutely will catch you up. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, and your community safe. Because ass clowns like LaShawn and the cronies in politics don't care about you, they don't care about your safety, all they want is power. If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.